I think if you've, if you've loved, you've grown up and you've experienced you now what it's like, you know, it's always in there and you're from the area no matter what, no matter where you go, you know, so I guess that's just the beauty of it. That's a, that's a tough one, man. I'm a big fan of Dragon Ball Z. Um, I'd have to say Kid Gohan, you know, in the Cell Saga, when everyone knew he had the potential to, you know, sort of be the strongest throughout the crew. You know, he didn't know himself, but, you know, I think that moment when he hit Super Saiyan 2, you know, you knew straight away he was he was a badass and a force to be reckoned with. And um, I think I was pretty young at that time when I was watching, pretty gutted how he came on and, and you know, didn't really live up to expectation, I guess, for me. But um, Kid Gohan, Cell Saga. That's my goat for um, Dragon Ball Z. And that was my first, you know, um, anime that I got into. Um, my dad used to sit down with me. He used to go to Blockbuster and, and buy the um, the whole series in, in DVDs. It's when you could go into Blockbuster and that. So that used to be our Friday nights, um, getting into Dragon Ball Z and just stuck with me. So I love my anime and that's probably my Netflix. Um, I'm a Crunchyroll, um, got the premium and that. <laughs> I think it's a bit, a bit better than um, Anime Lab, but um, yeah, let's go Crunchyroll. <laughs> For me, it's probably um, spot the difference, man. I think that's when, you know, One Four just became a vibe all over the country, not just in Mount Druid. They had that, um, you know, the mad uh, video and all that, where they're all on the streets um, of Edmonton. And that's pretty much where I live on too. So that was pretty crazy um, seeing, you know, the boys run run on the streets and stuff. So massive fan of anyone who, you know, comes from the area and that's able to make it um, a name for themselves. And growing up in Mount Druid and getting the vibe of, you know, no one wants to be from there or, you know, you're sort of ashamed to say you're from Mount Druid. And so at this point where, you know, everyone, you know, loves it and wants to be recognized and a lot of people are, are making noise from the area. So uh, it's pretty cool. And it just goes to show, you know, no matter where you come from, no matter, how you grew up, if you're willing to work hard, you can make a name for yourself. So, no, they're doing really well now. So, good on them to the boys. Hey, nah, it's got to be busy, man. Straight up. <laughs> when you hit that Mountie Mob, I was like, oh, because I was on the field at the time and I was, you know, coming off the bench and that. So, uh, I think that was his first try in NRL. So, um, that was a mad vibe for us all. But to see him get up and Pop that Melanie Bob out there, it was um it was crazy. So uh, he loves the area, um Bizza, he loves his footy as well, so it's good to be around him for the next couple of years, but yeah, it's gotta to go to Bizza and his Melanie Bob. Ooh, for me right now, it's gotta be easy 350s man. The first time I experienced it, you know, um in real life was was Nathan Cleary and He's always been a big dog in Adidas and that, and you know, he walks in the sheds with, with the 350s on, and I was like, oh snap. And I think that was about 2019 or 2018, and you know, my bank wasn't up there yet, you know, to cop some of those those Yeezys yet, but um, you know, I think it's it's, it's all right now. I've, I've copped a few pairs, and you know, they're so comfy, but yeah, they they got that sporty look to it. And um, I think it's a pretty exclusive shoe as well, so it's a bit of a flex as well, but yeah, it's got to be the Yeezy 350. Shout out to Nathan Cleary, brother. <laughs> Ooh, that last one got me there. <laughs> um, shut. For me, it's probably shutting gun. That's like an eye jutsu, ocular jutsu, they say. You gotta be part of this clan to actually inherit that um, that type of power. So um, you can't really get it unless you're you're in you're born into that clan. So um, you know, that I think it's a pretty popular um, jutsu or Geke Genkai, they call it. Popular characters, you know, have that have that eye jutsu. So I'm a big fan of the um, shutting gun. Let's go. For me, it's got to be Benji. Um, you know, I think he's probably not the the five eight that's you know accomplished the most or who's of who's won the most GFs. But he's probably a five eight that's changed the way the game's played. Um, in my position, I watched him. My first ever game of rugby league was was Benji. But we were at a camping trip, um, and our next door neighbours somehow had a bloody portable TV or, or some crap and you know they happened to have the GF going and I think I was about seven or something there so I fell in love with the game ever since um, and fell in love with Benji as well so um, you know it was pretty crazy I got to room with him in that Maldives um, all-star week and um, just to get to know him as a guy um, you know I love him even more man and you know yeah fair to say that he's my goat. It's got to be Bully. 
um, I reckon, you know, experiencing it firsthand and I've watched, you know, the New Zealand um, games for so long and I've been a big fan. You know, I'm obviously a big fan of Benji, but um, when it comes to hackers and pukanas, it's got to be bully man. He leads it from the front and he's so passionate about that culture. So just even speaking to him, you know, straight away, um, you know, he's Māori and um, he's hearty Māori. That's something, you know, we say when someone's, you know, deep in the culture, you know, he's got the tats. But yeah, you can just tell straight away that he's Māori and um, I'm not too sure. It's just, I think it's a tick in his head or something, but he loves, he loves the hackers. He's always leading and, you know, teaching the younger boys. So. Um, I think he loves that sort of stuff.